Hello everybody, Nyx here, and I'm going to be bringing you a game today between Knight, the Red Protoss spawning up here in the 2 o'clock position, and Gurkip, the Purple Zerg spawning down here in the 7 or 8 o'clock position. So, this is not a pro game, I'll just say that right off the bat. This is actually a game from a tournament that I decided to host. Um, it's called the North American Amateur Star League www.naasleague.com We're currently in our first season, got 290 players signed up, so it's going fairly well so far, and this was the first full set of replays that was a full best of three replays that was posted, so I figured I'd cast these, so there are going to be two more replays after this, or maybe just one more replay, depending on who wins this first one, I haven't actually watched them yet, so I will be casting this, um, as I see it, I have not previewed these replays, um, though I do know what the overall outcome was. Now it looks like Gurkip sending out a drone here, it looks like he is going to scout with this. Taking a look at the production tab, we see that Gurkip continuing to get drones, um, Knight is throwing up his gateway, and he threw that up really early actually on 11, so we may be seeing some sort of early zealot play here. Knight actually is playing off race this game. He signed up as a Terran, and he's playing Protoss this game. Um, for anyone watching the tournament, for future reference, you shouldn't do that. But I accidentally didn't put that in the redone rules that I did for the tournament, so it's okay for this first week since that was my fault for accidentally removing it from the rules page. Gurkip scouting around in Knight's base, and it looks like Knight or Gurkip is taking his natural expansion here. Also throwing down his spawning pool. Now we are seeing a cybernetics core, so maybe we aren't going to see any sort of early zealot play. Now, I can't tell. Is he... That may be that that is entirely blocked off. I don't know if a unit can get through there. So he may have just completely walled in his ramp. Now, on this map, that's... Typically, if you're going to wall yourself in like this, I've seen players wall themselves in using this and just completely walling themselves in so that they can take this expansion and then they bust down their own back door later. But I don't think I've ever seen a player completely wall himself in just to his main. Now he is throwing up a pile on out these back rocks, which is smart. Make sure they don't get break broken down when he doesn't want them to be. Taking a look back at Gurkip's base, there's not a lot going on right now. He is building a queen. And his hatchery is up, so I would expect to see a little bit more drone production. Um, he needs to get these both saturated if he wants to take advantage of this expansion that he's gotten. Still running this drone around in the base, though, with one zealot out, chasing it down. That drone is going to go down. Now it looks like uh, Knight is getting a Twilight Council somewhere. Um, is that down here? Yep, there it is, Twilight Council. There will be a Stalker coming out for Knight as well. Gurkip looks like he's positioning Overlords in various places around the map. This one's headed off to somewhere. Got one at his entrance and he's got one up here that he might use to scout. Now we are seeing some Zerglings coming out now as well as Metabolic Boost. We got Blink coming for Stalkers and Warpgate Research coming for, uh, coming from Knight. He's throwing up a second gateway, kind of late on that second gateway, but he is playing off race, so. Third gateway coming up, so I would expect to see four gate here. Now, four gate against Zerg, in my opinion, not so great anymore, especially if it's this late. Um, but maybe we are just going to see three gates as he has not thrown up a fourth one yet. But just with the roach buff, then they can just go to mutalisks and... I find it does not, just does not work very well anymore um, against their, unless you do it really fast and really early, which is not going to be the case here. If you take a look at the income tab, both players are pretty even despite this extra expansion. Um, Gurkip needs to saturate this base, which it looks like if we look at the production tab. Um, he is getting few drones, but he's making a lot of zerglings, so he's not pushing the economic advantage as much as he could. He is sending over four Zerglings. 
He's going to peek up the front here, see the stalker, and he's going to back down. So Nice scouting the front. I don't know if he saw the other gateways. Let's take a look. Oops. He did see one of the other gateways. Actually, if you notice, um, Knight is completely blind to what's going on. He hasn't scouted anything. Um, and Gurkip knows that he doesn't have this expansion, and he knows that he's got at least two gateways. So, as far as information goes, Gurkip definitely has more information. And it looks like he is building a spire. And after seeing those gateways, it looks like he is throwing up some spine crawlers. Knight's got a pretty good amount of stalkers. Taking a look at the army tab, Knight is a little bit ahead, but if we look at the income tab, Gurkip is quickly getting ahead, and he's got enough of a defense that I don't think Knight can really do anything about this at this point. So Knight should expand, or try to do something to catch up in economy, um, which would be expanding, that's all you really can do. Because um, I don't think he can really press an attack. He could try to knock down these back doors, because I don't think there are anything but Zerglings out on the map right now. But this Spire is going to be done soon. So his window of opportunity is quickly closing. There's a lot of Zerglings out for Gurkip here. Trying to get this Stalker that's managed to wander its way into the base here quickly goes down, but he did get a little bit of a scout in, saw all those spine crawlers, so he does know what's there. He does not know what tech route he's going, going though, he does not know about this spire. He does have blink stalkers already. Taking a look at the army tab, Gurkip slightly ahead, um, as far as army goes. And there come the mutalisks. Looks like he is going to be moving out with these mutalisks, trying to do some sort of harass. More zerglings on the way. And it looks like, ooh, Knight is also pushing out, so there's going to be not a whole lot to stop these mutalisks. And there's six mutalisks now, and they're just going to, <laughs> going to do work on this probe line here. Let's see what Knight does. Is he going to pull back, or is he just going to keep uh, push is, yeah, pushing a counterattack? Looks like... He's not going to do a whole lot of anything, just dancing around at the moment. And all his probes are going down. This is not looking good for uh, Knight at this point. Uh, these Mutalisks are going completely unchecked. He's not warping in any Stalkers. And he is going to try to push into the front here. Um, I don't... I think he could break this, but I think he's already in a lot of trouble since he's lost all his uh, income there. He's going to try to break the Spinecrawler defense here. Spine crawlers are going to go down. Here comes some more Zerglings. Trying to blink back the Stalkers that are getting damaged as they get damaged. Going to take out the last Spine Crawler, but now the Mutas are back from the harassed attack. The uh, drones are coming off the line. Knight is losing all his Stalkers, and he has absolutely no income at this point. If we take a look, literally no income on anything. 11 Harvesters. This is uh, looking pretty bad for Knight here. Only three Stalkers left now, and here come more Zerglings. One Stalker left, and it is going to go down. It has no health and no shields, and there it goes. Knight has absolutely nothing at this point. If we take a look at the units tab, he has one Stalker and one Zealot somewhere. And that is it. Here come the Zerglings now. And they're going to see these probes. Oh, the probes are going to go down. Oh, and they do get by. The Zealot was not able to get in the way. All the probes... Oh, nope. Uh, 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 and there go all the probes. So, I think this game's pretty much over at this point. Knight has two probes. Yes, and there's the GG. So the first game of this best of three goes to Gurkip. And I'm not sure what the next map will be. It's going to be selected by Knight. And we'll see if he plays off race again. I'm not sure if he will or not. But tune in for the next game.